I'm from Zimbabwe. Thank you. Thank yes. You so much. We've been friends for some time now, and I like your friendship. Thank you so much uh, for coming on Africa Canada Hub. Uh, thank, thank you, uh, Abby, and I appreciate what you have done. You know, just starting this thing. It's thank something you. that if we keep doing it, we'll get somewhere. somewhere. And I appreciate you for for that. Thank you very much for starting it. And also for inviting me to this uh, discussion. <laughs> of course, yeah. you have to be on the show. <laughs> Do you think your children would like to go back and learn the culture and continue this line of ancestral home link, even though they find themselves outside of the country? To live there, it's also a good thing. Yes. Yeah. It's also a good thing because... How, the way we see things here now is so different from the way we used to see, even ourselves, see ourselves so different. It's like when you are in a, in a room, you don't see, you don't appreciate the good things about that room until you get out. That's when you see, oh, I think my room is better. <laughs> Because there are other things outside. It's, we, this is the same thing we go through here. We come here. Then we see how good our country was. Mm. How good things are. You know, it's like, oh, okay. So if we can go and bring that awareness to our own people there so that they also begin to appreciate the goodness of their own culture, their own country, and try to preserve it. Because right now, thing, things are chaotic. Nobody cares about the land, how it is. You know, people just mine anywhere, anyhow. Where are we going? Well, what's the next generation going to be like? How are they going to survive? They're going to survive on what? When there is so much destruction? I would love to have my children continue communicating with their land. And if they can go and help there, that will be something. You mentioned something about how to preserve. There's so much destruction, I do agree with, with the land. We live in a different era. The era we live in, unfortunately, has a lot of uh, greed. You want to go back. You want your children to go back, to follow their heritage, and preserve and make a difference. And yet there's so much destruction. And the destruction is just for the benefit of a few, not for the whole. And so that's the sad part. We hold on to this dominant culture. And yet, how do you trace it back to that dominancy? I don't know if you get my point. Something should push me back. But if I get back and I see so much destruction, my concern. Yeah. And a mind too um, takes me back to the time when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. There was so much of communalism that nobody you know, suffered like not getting food. There was so much, everything was done communally. And that ensured everyone had food on their table. Yes. There was what, in my language, we call it nimbe. Mm. Uh, this ujama, the working together, work parties, working together. Today we are in this one's field, tomorrow we are in that one's field, and mm. ensuring everyone has something. All that is gone now. It's so individualistic. Hmm. It's all about me. We don't work together anymore. Someone is suffering there, not having food. Another person has a fleet of cars that he cannot be in at yes. the same time. At the same time. He can only be in one. One at a time. <laughs> but yeah. he has a fleet of cars. Why do you have all the fleet of cars when someone doesn't have enough to eat, doesn't have any, you know, 
does this doesn't have a job, even if I try, they're not there. Unemployment is rife mm-hmm. in our countries. And some people, the homeless, don't have a home. But there is someone who's sitting there and having all this luxury, that 10 bedroom house, and you can only be in one bedroom at the, sa- at the same time. And you have maybe two, three kids. It's sad. I'm not saying people shouldn't have nice, you know, beautiful houses. Yes, it's good to do that. But what are you doing about the other people who do not have, about the other people who are not, who are suffering? And I'm not saying just donating is the best. No. Enable the person so that the person can work for himself and have something. Create jobs Mm -hmm. for the people so that they can help themselves. But if you're just taking, 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 and in most cases it's taken from the people, you're taking, taking from the people, and then you just amass. And one pathetic problem is people get the money, they go and bank their monies in Swiss banks (laughs) (laughs) outside the country, which they may not even get back that money. They die, they leave that money there. It's not coming back to... To Africa. Yeah. It's not. What are you doing when the people there are not benefiting? Where are we going? I see that innate love and passion for change coming out Mm -hmm. as you speak. Does that motivate you to want to go back and invest some of your knowledge. There are so many of us in the diaspora. Mm -hmm. We are in pain when we hear these things. And yet, it's like your hands are tight. How do you begin to let your voice uh, be heard? Yeah, if you can go, it's another way. But if you can also bring the awareness, and with this technology, you don't necessarily have to go. Well, this is a form of it, right? Yes, that's another way. For also voicing out your opinion. and Mm -hmm. Forming groups with your own people, including those who are back home, and getting the awareness to everyone, and also, you know, getting the opinions, their own opinions. What are they saying? They are the ones who are seeing what is going on. And then you come together and find ways of dealing with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I only wish our governments, and when I say our, I mean, back home, would listen to the people. If only they would listen to the people, that would help a lot. Maybe they do listen, but they... Cannot do anything. Well, to these uh, painful topics, right? It's, they are painful, but they are also necessary to talk about. Yes, and it is necessary. Do you have anything you would like to add, Melania? <laughs> that's that's <laughs> true. If you are quiet, nobody knows how you are thinking, what you are thinking, and you know. Yeah. If you know, even getting help, you can't get help if you are quiet. Better we start talking, I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Well, thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate this. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us, Africa Canada Hub. Thank you. <laughs>